Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You know, normally with this is a stock channel, but you know, if I uh, have a problem with uh, uh, items in my house, I want to save you some dough because there's a lot of scam contractors out there. So today we're changing the filter on the refrigerator. So if you go in to uh, get your uh, get a drink and you see this, and you got the freaking nasty in your uh, glass of water, you know what that means? Doesn't mean you have just dirty water, it means you got a nasty filter. So you need to go back out and get the, the filter that matches your refrigerator. So today we're gonna do the frigid air. Now you know we had one from before where it had leaky water and it, some of you have seen this one and uh, well it's helped a lot of people. So today we are doing the frigid air for the filter. Okay guys, so one of the first things you wanna do is you want to find your model number with your Frigidaire fridge and you want to uh, match it up online to make sure you have the right filter. Uh, this particular model uh, with this guy we're going to uh, one of the first things you want to do is turn our ice maker off. Now some of your Frigidaires could be different but it's pretty much the same process. So uh, once you do that you're going to want to go online and find a company uh, that you can match your uh, water filter up with and you're going to want to turn your freezer off. For this particular uh, item, I'm going to turn my freezer off. I'm going to show you how I did it. Now, all models are different. Some models uh, have a switch on the inside of the ice maker of the Frigidaires. This one uh, doesn't have the switch, and you just turn it off by putting the handle down. I'm going to show you that. So as you can see, we're on odd mode right now. You're going to want to turn this off. So you're going to take the handle, lift that up right there, and that's going to turn that off. You do not want to, uh, when you change the filter, it's going to be nasty and dirty. So you're going to want to not get all the nasty water in there and you're going to have to do a little flush through there too to make sure you don't get any gook and everything. You want to clean the inside of that and we're going to show you how to do that without getting all the, all the nasty goop and gook inside of it. Okay guys, so that's your water filter right there. What we're going to want to do to get this out is we're going to push and pull it out. Just like that, and we're gonna get that there. Okay, guys. Well, so when you go to buy the filter, make sure you go. Uh, if you if you're not sure and you go online, uh, go to Home Depot or one or Lowe's or something like that, and have them look in the computer if you're unsure what you're ordering. I know sometimes it might be difficulty difficult because if you do it wrong, you're not gonna have your water and things like that. So with this crappy filter, because obviously it's expired. We go here, no filter, or bad filter, sorry, excuse me. We're barely going here at all. Now when we replace the new one, you're going to want to, so, so guys, when you're going to get the filter out, you're going to want to push in and then pull out like that. So again, this is the old one. You're pushing in and then that's to put it in, there's a little retractable thing and then you're going to pull out. Right here is the teeth and when you're putting it in you're going to want to line that teeth up right there to uh, to get the, so this is the old one we're going to pull that out right here. So here is the Frigidaire Pure Source actual from Frigidaire. I highly recommend don't getting a knockoff but to get uh, line up your model go to Frigidaire and look on their website. If you can't figure that out or you don't know how to just go to your local store and somebody will help you to get the right one because you're going to be waiting and waiting on this. So as we open up, we have our new filter here in the box and you have the caps. You're going to want to take the caps off. If you don't take the caps off, you're going to have, uh, you're not, this thing's not going to work. So we're going to take the caps off and we're going to go to the next step. Okay, so again, with new filter now, the caps are off. We're going to line this up with the threads. Make sure your threads are lined up because if they're not, you're going to uh, jackarooski the filter and your uh, refrigerator uh, entry point there. So we're going to put this in and then push the button. If you just put it in right here, it's not going to go. So you're going to have to pull that spring back and push. Now it's in. Okay, so now for three minutes, you're going to want to run this to get it out. You got all your air bubbles and everything, so be careful. Keep on going. You want to get all your crapola out. We're going to do this for three minutes, guys. 
you're gonna get lots of bubbles and uh, not so nice stuff. Look at that. That is all the nast coming out from cleaning it out. So you gotta do this for three minutes. If you do not do this, you will get crapola water. Do not drink this at home. You wanna make sure you get all your air bubbles and all your nasty. Three minutes, guys, or one and a half gallons of water. So that's one of the symptoms if you uh, if your water's not coming out as well. If your water's coming out, then you're good. But if it's not coming out, then you might have one of the little switches that need, need to be replaced. Don't try to repair the switch, like the manual says, because if you try to repair the switch, then uh, what's going to happen is, is that it's not going to work right. So like I said, if the water is not coming out, then you need to possibly replace the switch or have a professional come in if you're uncomfortable with that. So you gotta figure out what's best for you. So you could be sitting here thinking everything's okay because you didn't do it for the one and a half gallons or the three minutes. And what's gonna happen is, is you're gonna get water all over the place and your wife or husband or girlfriend or boyfriend is gonna be really, really ticked off at you. So guys, as you can see, the water is nice and crystal clear. There's no more crap hole in the water. If you have crap hole in the water, do not drink it, that's number one. Toss and keep on rinse and repeat. Also, you need to uh, test it out to make sure it tastes good. For this one, this is some high quality H2O. So, like I said before, if you don't have the right filter or you're worried about that, you can go into your Home Depot, you could go into your Lowe's and they could look it up on the computer for you, it's that simple. Because if you make that mistake, you're gonna be waiting about 14 days of water and that's possibly if not there's shortages so what this video is designed to do to help you so you don't spend 150 to 200 dollars for a service call for something that you could do for absolutely free